Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am at Rogers. I'm behind Rogers. I had to park far from the door because the place was packed when I pulled in and when I left I was all alone in that parking spot and there's no sunshine so I didn't have to move but I just like my spot here in the church parking lot so much that I moved anyway. I just like it here. I wasn't sure what I wanted to talk about today. I was just going to go over things that I've been doing. But since I bought a variety of stuff, let's do an actual Rogers haul. It has been a long time since I show you what I get at Rogers. And I got some unusual things. Well, at least one unusual thing that some of you have probably never eaten. So let's just get started with that. Put my glasses on. Ooh, I have these old glasses in here. I like these. These are the ones that used to light up. Ooh, one still works a little bit. Don't know if you can see it, it's daylight. Oh yeah, ah, so cute. I'm talking about me, not the glasses. <laughs> First of all, today is Tuesday, and on Tuesday they have their deli turkey marked down to $2.99 a pound. You have a choice of the classic white, the smoked, or the roasted. The classic white is oven baked. The roasted, I don't know. I don't really know the difference. Roasted is in the oven also. I think it's browned on the outside, the skin part. Yes, the skin is a little bit brown. So I usually get classic white. The last time I got roasted and I really liked it. So I got three one pound packages so that I can just put them in the freezer. Well, one will be out, but then I'll freeze two. Because I don't always get here on Tuesdays, so I like that. I can get it for $2.99 a pound. I love the deli meat for like times that I'm hungry at 1 a.m. and I don't have a steak already cooked and I don't feel like cooking. I will eat a pound of deli meat. As long as I eat to fill myself and not just eat to snack, I'm good with that. So it's a very good way to just keep me ZC and to have it be very convenient. I also got, I asked my mother first, do you want some more? Because I usually get her some every time I come. And she's like, not right now. I think I have enough in my refrigerator. I really should write down the stuff my mother eats. So many of you are amazed. You're like, oh, your mother eats that. My mother eats so much, so much food. For those of you who are new, my mother eats six to eight slices of bread per day. She eats tons of sugar, tons of salt. She loves pasta. The woman has lived and survived for 94 years on carbohydrates, sugar, pasta, salt. She even does things like drink pickle juice and puts water in the bottle of ketchup at the end and drinks that. I don't know. I don't know how she survives it and a lot of dairy. So she eats all the time. <laughs> And she also eats meat, vegetables, all the things that people consider to be good foods. But um, she eats. Anyway, and she never gets sick from eating. She just eats all the time. And yes, she is overweight, but she was never overweight like most of her adult life. She, she was not a big woman. But in her 70s or whatever, she started to gain. So she hovers around 200 pounds at 94. And she's short, but she looks good. You know, I don't know how she does it. But anyway... Let's get back to the food. This is the fake crab meat that I talk about often. It just looks like crab meat. It's actually a fish product. And I asked my mother if she wanted some, and she says, I don't think so right now. And then all of a sudden I was like, I think I want some because I have been eating pretty much strictly beef for weeks now. It's just what I go for. And all of a sudden I felt like I might like this. And usually my deli meat that I buy is usually roast beef, so I'm so glad to have turkey. It'll be yummy. What I do with this is I just take the chunks, and when I cook my steak, I just throw a couple chunks in there. It's like surf and turf. They just call it imitation crab meat because they make it look like chunks of crab meat, and they add some flavoring to make it taste like crab. But it's fish. Probably Pollock. Something I haven't bought in quite a while that I used to buy all the time are my bacon ends. Again, I just kind of got tired of that. Oh, the crab blend is $5.59 a pound. So it was $2.07 for this container. 
Okay, bacon ends. They are still $2.99 a pound, and I paid $3.08 for this. And so many of you ask me, what are bacon ends? And it's just the ends of the bacon when they cut their own bacon here. They have like pieces that just, you know, are not nice, pretty slices. And I just love this shit. See, sometimes I get big hunks of bacon like that. I love the bacon fat love all of this but I just got in the mood to not eat it and today I was in the mood now close your eyes for those of you who don't like organ meats I got chicken hearts usually you can get chicken gizzards or a chicken gizzard and heart mix this is all hearts it's my mother's favorite she loves hearts more than the gizzards I love both I got heart juice dripping on me I couldn't believe nice big hearts okay so this is 169 a pound and it's two dollars and 14 cents for this package and that's what the chicken hearts look like i think in the south in the united states i think you can get hearts and gizzards i don't know i don't think everybody has this delicious stuff <laughs> but i love it and for those of you wondering how i cook this i boil mine i just boil them, turn it down to simmer, and I let them simmer for like an hour or an hour and a half. A little bit of salt, that's it. So easy, so delish. Bagging. I have to bag as I go. This is fun doing a haul. I haven't done it in so long. Oh my God. This is the ground beef that I'm always telling you guys about. I bought 10 pounds and I had to wait because they were cleaning the grinder. And so it's freshly ground, so excited. And it is $2.99 per pound. I paid $32.41 for this baby. And I will separate that. I usually separate it, I don't know, eight to 10 packs, about a pound or a little bit more than a pound per bag. I freeze them. When I eat from one bag, I immediately take another one out of the freezer so that I always have one thawing in my refrigerator. So I just rotate it that way and I'm completely out in my freezer. So I'm so glad I was able to get some. My steaks, London broil. That is the meat that's on sale this week. I knew that last week. So I wanted to come and get some. $2.99 per pound. This is a family pack. I paid like $5.05. I pay anywhere from, you know, about that to like $7 per pack. I bought six packs like this, so I have 12 steaks. I tend to eat one whole pack like this per day, plus ground beef. I'm not going to show you all six packages. They all look like that one. I did get a gallon of milk. And I didn't really look at the price. I know my receipt is somewhere. It's generally about $3.75 per gallon, which I know is very high compared to some states in the United States because Maine is a dairy state and our milk prices are regulated like gasoline. It can go up and down per day and there is a state minimum that stores can sell it for. They can't sell it for less than. They can sell it for more than. So I get the Smiley brand and this is state minimum. But I know in other countries, some of you pay a fortune for milk. I also got some Adirondack sparkling water, just the plain. I don't try to drink a lot of this, but I do sometimes like a glass of it on ice in lieu of Elka-Seltzer. <laughs> and then for my mother, because I always try to pick something up for her, I just got her some, oh, this was a dollar. This is Haviland Thin Mints, dark chocolate covered thin mints, and I did pay $1.99 for that, but it's her treat. I always get her a treat when I come to Rogers, well, when I go anywhere, actually. Is that it? That looks like that's it. So even though I bought a bunch of meat last week, I still have room for more. I try to always stock up when they have anything at $2.99 to $3.19 per pound. I think my freezer is going to be filled to the max after this haul. But next week, if there's another sale, you know, if I have room for four packs of meat, I will buy four packs of meat. I, I like to keep my frozen meat section rotating, but full, because sometimes there'll be two weeks or three weeks in a row that I don't find a good sale. And then I don't have to worry. I just eat from my freezer. I have stuff I want to do when I get home. I, I would like to do another quilt block so I can play with my designing on the computer. I 
obviously will have this video for you guys. And I did go down in my cellar and get a whole tub of cotton. This is cotton that I must have purchased way back when I was selling fabric on eBay years ago. Like in the early 2000s, there was a time that I was doing that. And I haven't even gone through the tub, so I might do a video with that. We can look at the treasures together for those of you who care to do stuff like that. And I'll be using that cotton for quilt blocks that I do in tutorials. So I thought that would be pretty cool. And I do want to make another actual like little quilt that I could put on eBay as like a dog blanket or something or a baby blanket. I do like making some projects like that. I'm just not into making big quilts, but we'll have to um, see about that. Just so many things that I want to do all the time, just very little time to do them. And I'm sure you all know how that is. Yesterday was Skyla's birthday. She had an awesome time. She wanted to go out to eat for Mexican food and I treated the family, her mother, her brother, her mother's husband, Derek, and I even told her she could bring her girlfriend that lives across the street, but for whatever reason that didn't work out. I wish I could have been there and oh, it would be hard for me to go to a Mexican restaurant and not have a margarita. And you know, I probably would have one. I have no problem with having a drink. It does not make me go back to drinking like I did. But it just so happens that I haven't had any alcohol at all for four years now. That's weird. I just don't have any reason to. But I could taste that margarita. I even have margarita salt, and sometimes I'll just put some on the rim of my glass with water, just because I like the taste of the salt. That's the whole thing that I loved about margaritas. What a weird conversation. So let's just head home so I can do some other things. I will have another video up for you later, I assume, unless something weird happens. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and checking out my Rogers haul. It was fun chatting with you as always, and I will be back with more soon. Bye.